there's a person sitting next to you who is not talking to you you notice but you don't feel the need to you know Approach talk to that you person know. because you're scared you're scared that ye ab jhelna padega yaar kya ka sad kahani suna dega and i've done this to a friend and i'm really really not very happy about it when i reflect upon my judgment of others hmm. i automatically become more comfortable in my own skin yeah. because i stop judging myself and and vice versa when i stop judging myself i stop judging other people for me it's quantity over quality mm-hmm. and i don't take these ulta things. ulta sorry yeah. sorry quality yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit me kya bol rahi thi so kaun se achhi baat hai bol rahi thi A huge welcome to We Times, and we are thank so happy. Thank you. Thank you, you. Thank you so much. What's I want to know from the actors first. While these characters are relatable, they are also emotionally challenging to approach on screen. What were your creative processes to approach them? See, every character that you play is in some or the other way challenging because you're going to be playing a completely different person. Every character that you play is so different from you that at first it looks challenging. Yeah. But I feel that's the fun. <laughs> a uh, fun part because what's the fun if something that you're going to do is not challenging if it's not pushing your boundaries yeah um as far as our process is concerned uh, and with and me you know we spent good 2 months just discussing mm. the life of this person we literally created this person out of nowhere <laughs> and uh, it was a lot of fun we spoke about her in detail we spoke about um her childhood yeah you know created her reality from the very beginning like uh, from the age of 5 to the age that shown in the film we just built her up like that yeah and we just spoke to each other about it i don't think we ever did a scene from the script in fact our scripts were taken away from us she just gave it to us to read at first and then she said i'm going to take it away because now this is not important now just focus on your character so we just spoke about her and just that <laughs> nothing else nothing else you know tripti i wanted to know another thing from you since you portrayed kala how do you think if someone like kala would have affected you if you would have seen her at a time when you were growing up or if she was your friend i don't think i would have noticed her <laughs> okay and that's the sad part because you know i remember being very conservative and very you know into myself and i know the kind of things i was dealing with Mm-hmm. they are very much no i'm not saying that i had a horrible childhood no and my parents were lovely and they showered me with all of all the love that they had in their heart but but you know these things are something that you don't notice you don't notice that if there's a person sitting next to you who is not talking to you you notice but you don't feel the need to you know Approach talk to that person you know. because you're scared you're scared that ye ab jhelna padega yaar kya ka sad kahani suna dega and i've done this to a friend and i'm really really uh been not very happy about it because there was a time when a friend was approaching me and he was used to always you know tell me sad stories mm-hmm. and there was a point where i stopped talking to him i was like you know my that these stories depress me and they take me down so i'm not going to like interact but that's that's the sad part and that's really wrong and i think we should look at these things more seriously and i think after watching this film a lot of people will start noticing these things and yeah i've i've been more careful now with life with people with myself mm-hmm. and yeah that's what i think everybody <laughs> should do too mm. what about you swastika i think um, the process is quite f- similar and uh, even when i was uh, shooting for patal lok uh, during workshops we used to do the same thing talk about the character from his or her childhood until we see that person on screen because we don't get to see the entire life of a character on screen or it's not there in the script we are always meeting them at a certain age yeah. of course in this film we see kala from the time she was very young but for urmila we are seeing her at a certain age we don't know how she was when she was 5 years old or she was 10 years old so um and vita did not give me the script for a week <laughs> and i am like what is this going on the director mm-hmm. is not giving the script we are only chit chatting and talking about various things mm-hmm. and then i <laughs> uh, got the script and i read it and then we never discussed the script again mm-hmm. and uh, we just had very very long sessions of talking about urmila her life about my life 
Anvita's life, but I was always speaking as Urmila. I was always communicating with her, and I, I never referred ki she. It she was always has to be I. I. Yeah. It was not that I think Urmila wants would be like this. It was like I think I would be like, be like this, or I would, uh, you know, feel like this, or I would want to say something aloud like this. Mm-hmm. At times, I used to say she, and Anvita would be like, I. "No, you have <laughs> gone <laughs> away from her." Yeah. And uh, it has, it just you know entered my subconscious. So when we went on floor, I was Urmila. I did not need to think hard during a scene or while uh, emoting that it's somebody else. It was like it me. It's person. my life. This is how it has been, and uh, yeah, I, I feel this film and this character is going to stay with me in a good way for a very long. <coughs> what about you, Bhavan? <coughs> Same. I mean, uh, I I was not allowed to have a script, but I was allowed to have a different script, <laughs> which okay. basically uh, f- for fifteen days, Anvita made me write since the day I was born till the day the script starts. Where okay. the script starts in time, where the script starts, right? Narrative time, mm-hmm. where the script starts, and she made me write through my own imagination and through her, uh, I think, uh, motivators of where this, where Jagan should be going through in life, and we built a life. And since I wrote that, and I was allowed to have that script, which, which was our subtext script, Jagan became an inherent part of me. Like I was not trying to find Jagan. Anywhere yeah. other than just me. So my pain, my emotional memory, all of that synced with Jagan. So I felt Jagan's pain as my pain. Okay. I don't because I would talk about this, but I can't talk about. It. So, but when you see yeah. it, you will see that like it. You will see that Jagan and I have become one in that moment. There is there is a moment in the film where you, mm-hmm. I think I I I'm pretty confident you'll be able to notice that. Yeah. Actors have a <coughs> difficult and crazy job. <laughs> yeah, and I think it's very difficult to articulate yeah. Yeah. You know, the process and how you deal with it and what's going on in your heart and mind and what what is coming out you know coming across in front of the camera. It's a very yeah. it's a very complex thing, and I don't think it's easy to put it yeah. in words. You know, I can yeah. speak a lot, but I don't think it'll reach to you yeah. or you know somebody who's listening or seeing. But I think because she's yeah. seeing the. F- uh, when film, you see the film, yeah, you yeah. can absorb Understand. what yeah. you're talking about. So just about. watch the interview, watch the film and then again watch the interview. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Anvita, according to me, when I watched the film, I felt Kala is a story talking about living up to one's expectations, seeking validation and yet at the same time, you're feeling empty. So was it a conscious decision to use music as that medium to, you know, make oneself free yet so burdened for not having that acceptance? What a beautiful way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> you described it so beautifully. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, yes, music, um, uh, music came as a very initial stages of the story uh, when it was just a thought. Um, Music organically became a part of that. I will set this mm-hmm. in the world of music, and she will be a singer, and there'll be musicians around her also. Because I was having a conversation with Vishal Dadlani about how strange it used to be that you give the same education to a boy and a girl on music, and you call uh, one a maestro and the other a courtesan. Yeah, you know, and that uh, is where I think it started off with, and just. Somehow, maybe because I'm a lyricist, maybe because music is such a, you know, we have music for everything. Today I'm feeling like this, so you listen to something, Mm -hmm. you know. To clean your cupboard, you play a certain kind of music. Yeah. Look, music is... (laughs) It's liberating. It it, it is, it is. Yeah. Wo wala din hai to wale rainy days hai. also, I think we listen yeah. to different yeah. playlists. Yeah. Then suddenly Rim Jim Gire yeah. Savan starts happening in the house. So music is very much part of our culture and very much part of our films. And uh, somehow here I wanted to make it a part of the character, the inner world, as, wo- as well as the profession, using music to make certain points, you mm. know. And I got the best people to work on it. I got Amit Trivedi, Swanand. 
Varun, Amitabh, Kausar. So it's just, yes, music, music is uh, Im embedded into the story. Exactly. It is not um, something that you do for relief yeah. or to, for romance mm. or to say, chalo, friendship song. Mm. <laughs> not, none of that. It is there. It's like the characters in the film are talking at that point in time. Yeah. And the story is moving forward. This is something that they are feeling. So... Plus, they're singers, so they yeah. will sing. So it's it's a natural mm -hmm. uh, expression for them. You know, Babil, in one of your Instagram <coughs> posts, you had mentioned when you, I guess, you posted People about read your Instagram, Instagram post captions. Everybody. Very well, yeah. yeah. Put, his I'll, captions are amazing. But that is have you focus, noticed that yeah. focus, they've become a little like I've not been putting as many cash, captions. Yeah, but I think you should put more. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just. Book my freedom is at stake here. Like. Sub captions dalke. So you know, I wanted to ask something about that. You know, when you had mentioned that the first time you worked in a film as an actor, mm. there, it was a period of you know rigorous personal yeah. evolution through a very difficult time. Mm. So how do you reflect on that time and what were your biggest learnings at that time? The biggest, the main, very important learning that I had at that time was uh, when I stop or when I reflect upon my judgment of others, hmm. I automatically become more comfortable in my own skin yeah. because I stop judging myself, and and vice versa. When I stop judging myself, I stop judging other people. You know what I mean? And judgment of others, I think, becomes a huge barrier in you playing diverse characters because the moment you judge a person and judge a person in the sense where you deem that something they are doing is wrong or something you, you dislike about what they are doing I think it's very important to reflect in yourself, within yourself why you feel like that the moment you do that you become more comfortable in your skin and you have so many more characters you can play mm -hmm. and I think that's why your journey as a human being is so important to grow as an actor. Mm -hmm. I think that was one of the biggest learnings I had at that point for sure. Yeah, you can use so much of your inner emotions, you know. Yeah. You remem we remember all of it. Yeah. So, when, you're, when we are playing different roles, we can always take, use them as our reference. We don't need references from outside. Yeah. Yeah. So, the more experiences you have, you can dig into your own experiences and use them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And make something beautiful. True. Which, you know, will be amazing to watch and things to remember. Exactly. Other than drawing references, what has already happened and people yeah. have already done all of that. Yeah. You know, Jagan is also very, you know, it's quite an unconventional character for a debut. Yeah. So, moving on, how are you planning to navigate your career and, you know, especially between art and commercial films? I am not planning at all. Okay. I really, I want to explore. Mm -hmm. So planning and exploration, I think, are they don't go together. You know what I mean? I want to explore. I want to take life as it comes, and I want to do everything. I want to do masala commercial films. Explore that as well and do it well. You know, I want to give my entire being to a character and do slice of life. I do everything. You know, and just when I'm doing everything, give it my all. That's all. You know. Yeah. Like. I can't go there and do it, like judge it, you know what I mean, and then just come out of it not evolved. Yeah. I think I just, I want to do everything and I want to just... We want explore. to see you dance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I want to see you dance. I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will. And there is, I can't see <laughs> I know. Okay, I think something on the cards then. Okay, okay. Cool. But yeah. yeah. Tripti, in a very short span of time in showbiz, you reached fame, especially after the success of Bulbul. Yeah. So, what's the best way to deal with that pressure of fame and then deliver a next project? I mean, were you cautious about choosing your next script? Um, not really. I think uh, my funda is very simple. If I don't like something, if I don't relate to a particular character or a story, Hmm. then it's a plain no, no matter who's associated with the project because I think um, it's really important for me to make right choices and not just to prove anything to anybody but you know for my own satisfaction and I feel I'm like for me it's quantity over quality mm -hmm. <laughs> and I don't take these Kulta. things. Kulta. Kulta. Sorry, ah, sorry. Quality. <laughs> Quality over quantity. Next no up, projects. He makes eight films. Say, I said quantity <laughs> over quality. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, we can't win, really. <laughs> 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 
So it's very important for me. Yeah, to choose the to to choose the right projects. Uh, something that makes me happy, something that uh, you know uh, satisfies the artist in me, and that is what I've felt whenever I've worked with Anvita. Whether it was Bulbul, whether it was Kala, every single day I have gone back from set like happy and satisfied, and that is a very rare feeling. Like it doesn't happen usually with. Mm -hmm. Actors, actors. <laughs> I really hope every that day. keeps happening going forward. Yeah, I hope so too. And every day I've gone back home, and you know, when you're going back home, you reflect upon your day. You're like, "Acha, aaj kya sahi kya, kya galat kya." And and I would ask myself this question: "Ki kya jo maine kiya usse zada main kar sakti thi?" And the answer would be no, because all of us together, me and with the my co-actors, Swastika and Mabil, we were all just. You know, characters. Even Anvita mm. was a character in the film. <laughs> like, she. The best part about her is that when you are working with them, you don't want to be associated with the rest of the world. You are like, okay, yeah. this is our life, this is our dunya, and we want to be here. We want to sleep here, eat here, wake up here the next day, have our chai here, coffee here, and that's the that's that's the most. Yeah, I think this was one film where I wanted to go to the set early and be there. Uh -huh. <laughs> And I have even been there after I was I had packed up. We were like really having hectic schedules, and one day, two pair ko mera pack up ho gaya tha. But I was sitting, chilling there, had lunch. Uh, I was there to see what Tripti was doing and how the lights were, you know, being done. ऐसे चिल मारने के लिए वहाँ पे हम इतना सुंदर सेट होता है इट्स लाइक एवरी एवरी वे यू लुक अराउंड इज जस्ट ब्यूटीफुल सेट आई मीन द एल्टाइर फिल्म लुक्स सो Pretty, Beautiful. aesthetically very pleasing, and all of it. Yeah, smallest yeah. of details. Yeah. Because you just keep saying, "Ye ham le ja sakte, wo ham le ja sakte." Coffee saman. Inal ko pata chal jayega. Also, I feel it's the experiences that matter. You know. Yeah. Ye high low of your release, it'll come and go. You won't remember it for life, but the experience you have working with the people and it'll stay with. It'll you. stay for life. The memories are, you know, are going to stay with you forever. Mm. And. Yeah, that's why it's important to choose your people, to choose your roles, to choose your scripts wisely. And there are times spending so much time, time with them. Yeah. We all spend more time with the people we are working with than yeah, our family. Our families, true. It is always you know for it's us the other way yeah. around. We spend more time with people we work mm -hmm. uh, than our friends and family, family. and relatives. Like mm -hmm. they are the guests in our lives. Yeah, <laughs> that is true. So thank you so much guys for doing thank this you. with me. Thank you. I yeah. had a great time chatting with you and it's a lovely film. I really hope everybody will love it. Thank, thank you. you. So I'm looking much. forward to more of it. Very very beautiful question. Jury exactly. Jury question. Thank you. Thank you.